What a wonderful, boring win by the Colorado Buffaloes. They beat Arizona 34-7. to They're 5-2 and two on the season. I think it's really cool to just come out and say it. they're a good team. They're a well-coached team, but there is a problem. I'm going to tell you about the problem in one second. But let's just go with this. They're 5-2. and two. They're right there with the rest of the Big 12. I think they're a good team. Could they take another step and be a really, really very good team, maybe great team? Sure. But is this a CFP team? Probably not. They'll play the Big 12. They'll play out the schedule, and they have to basically count on Kansas State or BYU losing out and then having to play Texas Tech pretty soon. And Cincinnati's no slouch, which is their next game. And then they have to play Kansas. All right. These and then Utah. Utah actually sucks now. So, I mean, it may be a good win. I think they'll be a bowl team. I'm pretty confident in that. We can all say that. But just going over the game, it was a very, very day at the office for Shador. He had 23 completions for 250 yards, two interceptions, but he did have two touchdowns. The running game was near pedestrian, but they had a lot of carries, which I really love. They had 39 carries, 148 yards between everybody. That's enough to keep the defense honest. And let's just be honest. Arizona is ass. I mean, they are. They lost their coach late into the the year well, really early into the year when he went to the university of washington so a lot of their players either left or hit the transfer portal and it was seen mostly on the defense the defense is just awful for arizona they couldn't cover and that's one of the reasons why colorado threw the ball more than they ran the ball they knew that they their team could not stack up with colorado and that's the reason why travis hunter It was uh, held out of the second half. They knew they were going to win that game handedly. They could hit the quarterback whenever they wanted to, and they could dominate the game. And that's what essentially happened. I think we can all admit Travis Hunter took a step back in the Heisman race. I think it is now the Boise State running backs, you know, Heisman to lose. By the way, he's from Texas, and I don't know how they got him up to Boise. It must have been a hell of a check. I don't know. Maybe it was a good place to play. Now, I want to talk about why – Five and two is a very, very big problem for Colorado. Five and two, good team, very well coached. There is two sons that are about to graduate from Colorado or go on to the NFL. Then you have Travis Hunter about to go on to the NFL. You have a very, very high profile coach at a power four now that has shown that he can win and he does not own a major contract. This is not new news. Everybody knows this. But if there are SEC teams out there looking with a check, that can be appealing. So I just want to say this is a big, big problem. He's shown he could win on the stage. If he messes around and wins the Big 12, even though it's not probable, it's going to be a heavy check to keep him. I think it's going to be a heavy check to keep Coach Prime anyway, but I think it's a huge, huge problem because the man can coach. He can put together a coaching staff, and I think Colorado's defense is so much better than last year. Much apologies to my defensive coordinator from um, the original year, Charles Kelly, but this kid, this this defense coordinator, this man can absolute coach. The defense is better than last year, but they are really working in a system. It doesn't matter if people go down. They are getting people on the ground and tackling way better this year. And Arizona could not do really a thing on on their on their offensive side. Their quarterback went 16 completions for 138 yards. That is awful. And then their all-world First round by receiver only had five catches, 38 yards. So, and he had a long of ten, of ten yards for his catch. I, I really do think that Arizona took a step back, but even then, their offense was co- severely limited by Colorado's defense. So, on to the next game. They play Colorado plays Cincinnati, which is actually relatively good. You look at it before the season, you thought Cincinnati would not be as good. But they're good. You play Texas Tech after that, and they're decent. They're up there, even though they lost uh, today. But the then you got Utah. Hopefully that they they're not really good. They just lost to TCU. They only scored six points, even with the new quarterback. So I'm pretty sure Colorado will be bowl eligible. However, they still have a tough slate coming up. They don't really have a real easy game until maybe Kansas. But uh, I think they're going to go to a nice game. I don't know if they're going to 
be able to get into the Big 12 championship game. You got BYU, you got Kansas State, and Kansas State looks like they're going to be good and continue to be good, and BYU as well is still undefeated. And then they have Oklahoma State. In Oklahoma State, you never know what you're going to get. But let's stay tuned. We appreciate you. Uh, please uh, comment on what I said below. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Heritage Sports. Thank you.